Okay, here we're you know here we are. Attempt number two. <laughs> okay. Just plug that in direct. Turn the propane on, still got the fire extinguisher right there, battery plugged in. I just cut off about a half inch that fuel line where it was connected to the pump right there there was just a tiny hole only a couple drips came out and uh, caught it so, okay power up trim up you notice to kill that I just pulled the trim down and that shuts it off Now once it starts and it's at idle, I can take that back to, to the uh, idle and then wait a couple seconds and I got control. couple seconds and then I got control of the throttle. Shut the propane off. at 476 degrees, 0.7 volts is my pump voltage, it ain't even a volt, uh, 35,000 RPMs idle. There's a fuel pump, no leak. Check for fuel leak. See how much fuel I put in it. I'm up to there. They got my pod screen on there, but nothing will get stuffed into that turbo. Get them from the dollar store, man. Couple bucks. Jet Cat wants like forty dollars plus freight. That looks good too. You know what that is? That that goes in your sink when you're cleaning vegetables. Okay, let's go check out you know, hot.
way down when it's running. That extra air helps get it cool. Okay. Got to turn it off. Oh, man, you guys been missing all that. I didn't mess that video up too much. <laughs> okay, now to turn it off. Lower the trim. Now it'll go through the cool down cycle. That smoke you see out the back is just some residual oil that was in the fuel. No need to panic. Don't need to be panicked till you see fire <laughs> hear that exhaust pipe crinkling that's what that is cooling off you can put your hand on the outside of them pipes when they're running on the double wall part and it's cooling off I'm at 136 degrees 3 rpm <laughs> 2 rpm Tells me my battery's at 7.4 volts. It needs to charge. I flew on that battery all weekend. At Phoenix ain't charged it since. 107 degrees. We're off. Now we can power down. No fuel leaks. Look it all over again. If there's any wet spots. Wow, that just had a little tiny pinhole in it. It must have got bumped or something. Right there next to the fitting. It was right next to it. And uh, just seen a drop of fuel there. That or it just wasn't pushed on far enough. I don't know. Or it had swelled. But I just cut it off. We did it. Tragedy overheard Put the fire extinguisher up. All right, people. Bam. We are almost there. Dad's going to be bringing my wings over today. Just at the right time. This is finished. I'm going to bring my landing gear over. I bet you. Okay, everybody, that's it. I might just take the day off and get the shot loaded up Get ready for the last leg. All I gotta do is get them wings finished up, and Thunder Chief will be finished. We are downhill from here. I can do them wings in a day, but I'm gonna have to get them gear and I'm gonna have to paint them. So that'll take me a day. And then uh, hook up the gear doors and the servos. Bam. This is Thunder Chief will be finished. Thanks for tuning in on all these build videos. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching them as much as I enjoyed making them. And look what we got done. I couldn't have did this without you guys. You guys are the bomb. So thanks for tuning in.